Hi guys, welcome back to Wayward Sun Custom. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver full size. And I know that's a mouthful. Um, and honestly, with the this new series of handguns from Bull Armory, um, I don't really have all the names and the styles put together because uh, it is kind of a mouthful. So basically, what we're looking at is today we're going to be examining the, uh, like I said, the Bull Armory Axe Cleaver full size, and that is one of their G17, you know, their Glock G17 uh, Gen 3 clones, um, and then they also have the Axe C, which is a uh, Glock G19 Gen 3 clone, and they also have different slide styles, you know, um, checkering, or not checkering, but serration patterns, or whatever you want, um, cocking assist patterns. They have different milling patterns. That's what I'm looking for, milling, um, as far as the slide goes. The frames are the same, uh, as long as you have a G9, the, the uh, C or the FS model, the frame's the same, but they have different styles of slides, which is kind of cool. And uh, that way, depending on, you know, if you don't like the way the uh, serration, well, they're not really serrations, the milling for caulking is on either side. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. Uh, you can choose between a couple. So they have like the hatchet and the cleaver in the full size and the um, compact. They have the tomahawk. And honestly, I, I don't have all of the nomenclature as far as those go down because it's fairly new. And I this is the first one I've messed with. So um, I will say this much out of the styles that is available that are available for the uh, slides, the slide configurations. This is not my favorite one, but this is what I could get uh, my hands on at a decent price. Um, I do plan on doing a. G19 review, assuming this one goes well, and um, then I will try a different, a different one instead of the cleaver, maybe the tomahawk or whatever the hatchet, whatever the other one is, one of the others is that appeals to me that I can get at a decent price. I don't know, but anyway, um, we'll start off with what it comes with. You have your hard plastic case here, and then you have. One magazine that's in, actually inside the magazine well of the gun. Then you have this one here that's still wrapped. You have your owner's manual. And then you have your cleaning kit and a couple of stickers and a chamber flag. So that's what comes with it. And then, of course, the gun itself. So the presentation here is kind of uh, Spartan. But then again, when it comes to... Uh, outside of say the desert eagle when it comes to israeli made guns and this is uh, an israeli made uh, glock clone when it comes to um, anything israeli made they're us uh, they may they may take some time to make it aesthetically pleasing as far as the actual handgun and you know the the quality is going to be there usually um, it's been my experience that the Israelis make some really great weapons i mean after all look at the uzi the desert eagle um the Baby Eagle, the Jericho system, uh, series of pistols, um, the Tavor, the, you know, the list goes on and on. They make some, uh, the IWI Zion 15. And um, so I am, I am, uh, well, and Bull Armory actually makes some really nice 1911s as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm fairly optimistic that this will be a good gun. And I'm intrigued just because of a lot of the styling cues and the fact that it is an Israeli made Glock clone. So anyway, we'll go through this and um, we'll see what's what. So anyway, the first thing you'll notice is it does have it does have more of a 1911 uh, grip angle, and it is thinner, more like a uh, more like a more like a 1911, and so it's very it's very comfortable in the hand. Another thing you'll notice is that although it will accept Glock OEM magazines and Magpul magazines, I have tried that. These are proprietary Bull Armory mags, and the magazine base plate here, the floor plate, actually has a couple of wings here that uh, coincide with these 
little cutouts here so that if you ever have to pull the mag out it's stuck and you know you got a double feed in there or something that's keeping the mag from dropping free you got those you can rip it out so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and then also you have just a little bit of interior bubble here which is a nice touch and then you have the flare here at the front of the mag well which helps uh helps keep your hand on there and you know i really dig this frame i really do the ergonomics are great on it it has this nice um beaver tail here that really it's extended just enough to keep you from getting slide bite and to help you get your hand well up into the uh, uh up into the tang there so you can get a lower bore axis to help with uh, recoil and just overall get a better grip on it so that's really nice the texturing is just outstanding because it probably looks really aggressive on the uh, camera and it is pretty aggressive but it's not overly so but it it gives a very nice purchase and it's uh you can't really tell but it's kind of directional almost like shingles overlapping so it's it's very well executed and it it does a great job of keeping your hand on there and then also on each side you have basically thumb grooves or thumb rests whatever you uh, nomenclature you want to give it but anyway your thumb just naturally sits right there and it coincides on this side with the magazine release so that's um that's a real nice touch now i will say with this magazine release although this is a gen 3 compatible glock uh clone that is more of a gen 4 or gen 5 style magazine release so that i'm not sure about as far as compatibility um I'm assuming, I'm assuming you could just use a Glock uh, Gen 4 magazine release, but I could be wrong. I do know the rest of it is compatible with Gen 3 parts. So there's that. And of course, just like any other Glock, you know, you have your slide lock right here, take down for assembly, all that good stuff. Um, it has a, um, a traditional striker fire you know glock platform kind of trigger in that it has the trigger shoe and then the trigger safety right there um, the internals work the same as a glock we'll take it apart and show you that here in a second as far as the rail goes you have a picatinny rail up here and then you also on both sides you have um, this accelerator pad here um, this little gas pedal with a bunch of texture in there and so um, for those of you that like to utilize that, whether it's on this side or this side, it's right there and the texturing is very aggressive. Uh, not so much as to cause you pain or anything, but enough to, uh, more than enough to keep your hand on the gun. Now, as far as the slide goes, um, like I was saying, the main difference between the cleaver, the tomahawk and the hatchet is this right here. Um, they each have different patterns. Each one has a different pattern here as far as um, serrations or knurling or whatever. Um, you know, the milling here as far as for caulking goes. Now, I will say these are very aggressive as well. They're very deep set and it is very easy no matter how you do it. Come over the top. It really doesn't matter. No matter what you do, you want, if you want to disassemble it like we're going to do right now. You can come over the top. It's absolutely no problem. As I was saying before, it is all <laughs> Glock Gen 3 um, OEM. While I have it apart, I will go ahead and we'll just go ahead and look at the barrel real quick. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really special about it as far as styling or anything. It's just, you know, basically a good stainless steel uh, Glock uh, Gen 3 type barrel and then the same with the uh, recoil spring and guide rod it's just your standard glock type um, single coil or ex excuse me single spring and you know you just slide it back on it goes back the same and i will say the trigger on it is very nice the action is very smooth um, another styling cue right here on the uh, front of the slide is you do have this cobra style nose again stainless steel barrel you can see the branding right there the cleaver um, i would like to see some side options but again i'm pretty sure uh, i know the internals are compatible with glock i'm assuming looking at it it 
appears that the uh, sights would be as well. So uh, more than likely you can, you know, switch those out for Glock night sights or whatever. And should I decide to keep this gun, that's most likely what I will do is uh, switch those out because right now they are serviceable. Um, out of the box, I mean, you can run the gun. It's not that big of a deal, but they are just plain white, uh, white dot sights. So there you go. And yeah. So, I mean, the, um, just my overall first impression on it, it really, it really seems to be laid out really well. It seems like the Israelis made some really nice styling cues that not only make it look aesthetically different and better than others on the mark in the marketplace, um, in this particular niche, but, um, also, um, it seems like they did some stuff that really just out of the box makes it, uh, just a little bit more, if that makes sense. I mean, like I was saying before, the grip angle is very comfortable. It's very ergonomic. The flared, uh, the flared magwell, the cutouts here with the uh, the wings on the magazine floor plate work together really well. Uh, I didn't mention a while ago, but the trigger guard, um, instead of having the Glock hook here, you have this uh, this uh, cutoff here, which reduces. Um, which reduces the amount of stuff there that, um, as far as material goes, you have a, a, an abbreviated undercut right here, which helps out. And then you have a nice undercut right here at the rear of the trigger guard. All of the texturing is just really awesome at keeping your hand in there. I like the little, the little thumb rails here. The gas pedals are a nice touch. I mean, it's just really well thought out. And the trigger, is just really nice. The trigger reminds me of a Wilson Combat Glock trigger, um, which I love. I mean, nice and crisp. The reset is not bad at all. And I mean, there's like no creep. It's just a really, a really good trigger. I mean, um, one of the things that striker fired guns usually get the not get a knock on is the trigger. People, you know, they, they try comparing it to a 1911 trigger and that's just not fair, but this is really nice. I mean, it almost, it feels like a, just a nice single action trigger. Not the best trigger I've ever pulled, but by far not the worst. I mean, it is a, it is a nice trigger on here. So I have a feeling that's, that'll really help with the, um, with the accuracy and just the overall running of the gun. I mean, the fact that you'll be able to work the reset really nicely, you should be able to get some really nice, um, after, uh, um, follow-up shots and all of that good stuff. So, um, overall, my first impressions are this is, are that this is a very, very nice gun. I think it's a very well executed and, um, and even updated Gen 3 clone um, as far as a Glock platform goes. And I'm really excited to go uh, go shoot this. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we'll come back and talk a little bit about it. Guys, so we're going to put a few rounds down range. This will not be a comprehensive uh, or torture test or anything like that. Just a few uh, rounds down range to get a feel for the accuracy, recoil, mitigation, that kind of stuff on the new Bull Axe Hatchet. And this is a full size. Uh, and as I've said elsewhere in the video, it's a G17 Glock clone made in Israel. So let's see if the, what the Israelis have done with it. As you can see, we've already shot a few things on this particular target. And there's a reason why I keep reusing the same one. It's not just that I'm a cheapskate, although I am. But, uh, or I should say my wife is. But uh, there is a rhyme, a rhyme to the reason. You'll find out later on what that is. But anyway, I'm just going to pick a, a new spot on the target, probably the throat area right there, and we'll see what kind of accuracy we get. All right, so there you go. Um, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say maybe the Israelis have figured out how to clone a Glock. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, or, you know, if I was a cocky man, I'd say it's all me, but it's not. 
that's a, that's a really nice shooting gun. All right, as you can tell by our little bit of range time with it, um, Again, right now, um, I've got several guns that I'm going through and I'm just trying to get first impressions, first shots and everything. And I do intend on, um, at least for the majority of them, doing a more extensive testing, shooting from farther distances, different types of ammo, um, higher round count, that sort of stuff. Um, basically what I'm doing for um, the last few videos I've done for a couple of CZs and now for the bull axe, uh, cleaver full size and for subsequent guns uh, when I go out to the range for the first time the first few shots I'm just going to basically go from you know decent uh, you know just your basic run-of-the-mill self-defense situation kind of thing you know somewhere between five and ten yards most of the time I'm probably not even going to mark it off I'll just walk out a few uh, you know a few yards and pop off a few rounds probably not even a full magazine, probably five to 10 rounds, just to get a feel for it, see how the recoil is, and just see what kind of accuracy you get up closer in like a, a, what most self-defense situations would be. And then after that, um, you know, the next time you see this, we'll be trying to uh, different ranges, you know, 15, 25. Maybe we'll even, uh, if, uh, if I'm able to get a little bit of uh, freedom over on the rifle range, um, maybe even take it out a little farther and uh, see what kind of accuracy we can get at what distance and all that kind of stuff. And then just get some more rounds through it to try to, uh, you know, see where the reliability really, really is. See how just how long it'll run before we have any hiccups. Hopefully we never have any. So far, it shoots great. It's accurate. The recoil is is pretty much negligible. I think it's a great looking gun. I think they updated a lot of stuff on it. I think it's very well thought out. And in my opinion, this is a winner. And um, I do plan on getting a G19 size. Um, I'm not sure which model it is, whether it's the Tomahawk or I know it's the Axe C, but as far as whether it's the Tomahawk or the Hatchet, I don't know, but I want to get the one that has a different slide than this, so it would not be the cleaver. But anyway, um, as it stands right now, um, I bought this on my own dime. I have no affiliation with uh, Bull Armory at all, but um, I got to tell you, after shooting this gun, I'm not so sure that I wouldn't like to be in business with them because this is a the, overall this is a really great gun, and uh, I'm more than pleased. So anyway. Um, this is my sample size of one. You may have one that sucks, but uh, all I can tell you is this one is a beast. I love this gun, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get uh, this will get a lot more range time, and then uh, yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. So until next time, watch your six and carry on. Wayward Son out.